My name is Kelly Atterbury and I'm a soil scientist with the Natural Resources Conservation Service in Lubbock, Texas. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about how well your soil can absorb moisture. So today we're in a cotton field, in a conventional tilled cotton field uh, north of Lubbock. And what I'd like to do is a simple demonstration to illustrate how quickly water will infiltrate into the soil. Uh, we're going to contrast a cultivated field with a no-till field. And this is a very simple demonstration. There are many precise ways to measure infiltration, but this is something anyone can do. We're going to take a six inch diameter section of aluminum pipe. I've marked a line two inches down. We're going to put this in the ground four inches. Then, We'll take cellophane to line our pipe. Then I've measured out one inch of water at this diameter pipe. It's 450 milliliters or 15 ounces of water. We don't need deionized water or anything special, just water. Okay, then we will So now we've just about soaked in all of our free water and I'm going to call it there at 6 minutes and 10 seconds. One of the things we'd like to see with the soil is holes, pores, cracks, uh, root channels, various things where water can move into the soil easily. Here we see very little of that. Okay, I believe we have soaked in all of our water now at four and a half minutes. Now let's look and see where the water went. Because of all of this residue and because it has not been plowed, we should see a lot of roots that we didn't see in the other field. Notice how, how many roots we have. We have a number of these fine roots. The water soaked in farther. Notice it ran down a, a root pour and it got much wetter, much deeper. This is just a much healthier soil than the other soil. Notice too the darker color. These are both the same soil type. The color difference is attributed to the organic matter. Organic matter is dark. The other soil was depleted of organic matter. This one has a much higher content. 